driving your car to the river is the most dangerous part of the trip. Even more so when you have a big expensive kite on your roof. There's lots of different ways to tie your boat on wrong. We're going to look at the right way. You have two options for roof racks. Your car may already come with factory racks that are attached right into the roof and then you buy bars to attach onto those. Or if your roof didn't have any factory racks, you can get add-on racks. The key is that you want a rack that really grabs on tight. Depending on whether you want to carry one canoe or two canoes, you can get different lengths of bars. Anyway, you get your bars on, start tightening it down, make sure it's really on there solid, we're good to go. The trick is to keep your canoe from sliding off the end of the bars. You can use these handy little feet here. When it comes to tying on the canoe, some people prefer rope, some people like webbing. Uh, it's really a matter of preference. Um, I don't know why people don't like rope. Well, I'm more of a rope guy, and I wondered what this rubber thing was for, but that's brilliant. Then you don't put this buckle through your window. I'm going to adjust your webbing so it's kind of like that. Crank it nice and tight. I like to loop it around and tie it off just so that I don't have a loose end hanging in there and fluttering in the breeze. Well, I usually use ropes, but I gotta admit, this is pretty solid. To be most secure, you want to form a V with your rope. One end over here, the other end down under here. It's important that your bow lines are not parallel. They can be slanted in at the top or slanting out. Either way will hold the canoe. Oh yeah, that's secure. Well, if you're like me and you like rope, the first thing to do is figure out how long you need it to be. Three arm lengths like that works about perfect for every situation. One trick I like to do is always put my rope loop on the driver's side. That way when you've taken the canoe away and undone the ropes, it's hanging down, you won't drive away with it there, you'll see it. You want to make sure that your rope is right in close to the canoe. To do the trucker's hitch, twist the rope twice, pull the loose end through, and there you go. So in the front, you can use the same trucker's hitch. Two twists, bring the loop through. Crank it down. Two half hitches. There you go. If there's nowhere under your car to attach a rope to, you can take a bolt out of your fender, and bolt in a piece of webbing to use as an anchor point. I hope this virtual canoe coach has been helpful. Now it's time to get out there and go canoeing.